fellow students. This is session number four of chapter nine, alcohols. By the end of this session, you should be able to define esterification reaction, write the equation of this reaction, state the characteristics of esterification reaction, and calculate its yield. Okay. Now, we are going to start with esterification reaction definition. Alcohols, primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohols can react with carboxylic acids to give us esters and water. This is a reaction. Carboxylic acids, you know, and alcohols can react together to give us the ester. The aim of this reaction is to produce ester. And then water is a byproduct that is produced by this reaction. So this reaction is in incomplete, and you have seen it before in chapter three of your book, which is chemical equilibrium. The re reaction takes place in such a way that the OH group is taken from the carboxylic acid and the hydrogen atom is taken from the alcohol to give us the ester and both together are H2O okay so OH with hydrogen H2O and the remaining parts are connected together to give us the ester example economic acid with methanol OH with H give us water and the two remaining parts are connected to give us the ester Application exercises, exercise one involves primary alcohol, okay? So, ethanoic acid with ethanol, which is primary alcohol. Here, I want to give you a piece of advice. You want to give the products of this reaction. I advise you to rearrange or to invert this alcohol such that OH is on this side. So, it will become like that. It is still ethanol, nothing changed, only OH has become to this side. So OH with H will give you H2O and then the remaining parts are connected together to give you the ester. Application number two, you will help me. It is ethanoic acid with two propanol. Okay, also you have to, what, what shall you do here? Are you going to... Rearrange this alcohol, it's easier for you to rearrange it so that to put OH at this side and CH3 for example here. Okay, like that. It is still 2 propanol. It was 2 propanol and it was 1, 2, 3. It was 2 propanol and it is still 2 propanol. So this is OH with H will give you H2O and the parts are connected together okay application number three here we have tertiary alcohol it is two methyl two propanol okay what are we going to do just some rearrangement it is still two methyl two propanol okay but it is easier for us to draw it like that H2O and the two remaining parts are connected together. Okay, the, no the nomenclature of this ester, how to name this ester, is an important idea, but it will be taken in chapter 11 later on. Now, what are the characteristics of this esterification reaction? In fact, this reaction is a very, very slow reaction. It is incomplete or reversible and it is athermic. In the case of an equimolar mixture of an alcohol and a carboxylic acid, the theoretical yield of this esterification reaction depends on the class of the alcohol used. If the alcohol is primary alcohol, the yield will be 67%. If it is secondary alcohol, the yield will be 60%. And if it is a tertiary alcohol, the yield is 1 to 5%. So tertiary alcohols are the least reactive alcohols in esterification reaction. 
percentage of esterification reaction or the percentage of this reaction can be given by the following rule. Percentage yield equal N of ester that is actually produced at equilibrium over the amount of ester that is theoretical. Amount of ester theoretical is the amount of ester that will be produced if the reaction is perfectly complete. This amount is theoretical. In fact, it is not real because the reaction is not really complete and this amount can be found by stoichiometric ratios from the limiting reactor. And at last, times 100. So the percentage yield equals the amount of ester actual over the theoretical amount of ester that will be produced if the reaction is complete times 100. Let us perform some application exercises. Exercise number one, identification of compound A. The exercise says, the mild oxidation of a saturated non-cyclic alcohol A with an acidified solution of potassium permanganate produces compound D. You are given the molar masses. Part 1.1. Specify the possible classes of alcohol A. What will be the possible classes of alcohol A knowing that it has undergone oxidation reaction? Of course, it is either primary or secondary alcohols, isn't it? Because only primary and secondary alcohols can undergo oxidation, isn't it? Okay, part 1.2. You are given the molar mass of this alcohol A. Okay, knowing that the molar mass of A is 60 gram per mole, deduce its molecular formula. Okay, what will you do right now? You are given the molar mass of this alcohol, and you know that alcohols have the general molecular formula CnH2n plus 2O. Then, its molar mass in terms of N is 12N plus 2N plus 2O, 16, sorry. Then, this is the molar mass in terms of N, and it's equal to 60. It is given value. Calculation gives you that N equal to 3, and the problem has been solved. Okay. 1.3 Identify the compound A knowing that compound D produced by oxidation is a ketone. Oh, if it is a ketone, if the product is a ketone, then compound A must be a secondary alcohol. Do you still remember? Secondary alcohols by oxidation give us ketone. So, since D is a ketone, then A must be a secondary alcohol. And this alcohol is found that it has made it is made up of three carbon atoms. Then this is compound A, CH3, CH3, and OH must be at the middle for this alcohol to be secondary, isn't it? And its name is 2-propanol. Okay, exercise two identification of compound B. The elemental analysis of compound B shows that it contains 40% by mass carbon element and 6.67% by mass hydrogen element. Show that the molecular formula of B is C2H4O2, knowing that molar mass of B equals 60 g per mole. How will you proceed in this case? What is the best way to solve such an exercise? Okay, I say that the best way to proceed in such an exercise where the percentage by masses of the elements are given is to say that let the molecular formula of this unknown compound be CXHYOZ. Whenever we know these, X, Y, and Z, we can find the molecular formula. And so, we use the law of mass proportion. Okay, Ma molar mass of compound B equals to these ratios over 100 equal to these ratios okay then take the ratio for example this ratio with this okay this is given this is given the only unknown is x so x can be found then take this ratio with this ratio equal to each other then y can be found and at last this ratio equal to this ratio Okay, percentage mass of oxygen can be found easily because it is equal to 100 minus percentage of C and percentage of H together. Okay, part 
2.2, write the possible content structural formulas of compound B. Look at the molecular formula of compound B. It satisfies CnH2NO2. Then it is either a carboxylic acid or an ester. Did you use the content structural formula of compound B? No, that it has an acidic pH. Its pH is less than 7. It's an acid, so of course it will be an organic acid, okay? Which is, of course, a carboxylic acid. Esters are not acids. Exercise a 3 esterification reaction. An amount of 0.5 mole of 2-propanol, which is alcohol A, is mixed with equal amount of carboxylic acid B, which is 0.5 also, and heated together. At equilibrium, only 0.3 moles of esters are produced. The equation of the reaction is given here. Okay, this is the ester produced. Determine the percentage yield of this reaction. Do you still remember the rule of the percentage yield? This is the rule of the percentage yield. Okay. Percentage yield equal N of ester obtained at equilibrium, which is given here, 0.3 mole, over N of ester produced if the reaction is complete. This is found by stoichiometry with one of the two reactants because it's an equimolar mixture and their ratios is equal to each other. So, it will be 0.3 over 0.5 times 100. The value is 60%. Justify the value of the yield at equilibrium. Why this yield is 60%? Do you still remember? The value of yield will be 60% if the alcohol used is secondary alcohol. Okay? Okay, this is acquired knowledge of the session, identification and chemical reactivity of acidification reaction. The information are taken from your national textbook and from the official exam, session 2014 GS. And thank you for your attention.